Don't tell us what happened. Okay, um, uh, this afternoon there were two arrests at Occupy Sydney. Um, there were a lot of people taking photos and video um, of the arrests. Um, and I wasn't part of the General Assembly that happened after that, um, but it's been communicated to me that there was a decision made uh, to either, I'm not quite sure, but either to urge people not to publish uh, the photographs and video that they have or to um, publish uh, information about what happens. Um, so I was urged not to publish the uh, media that I have. Um, I politely said that I wouldn't be um, going along with that. Um, I think that it's really important that in this space we don't censor anything that happens and I have actually viewed other people's video of what um, happened. I was taking still photos so I don't have video but the video look like would actually assist the people that we had as part of Occupy that were arrested. Um, to me it looked like there was force used that was unnecessary um, on the police behalf, that's my opinion. Um, and I think that it's really important that when these things happen that we're open uh, and transparent and that we do that for the safety of um, ourselves but also for the police as well. I think that we really need to make sure that we have cameras and we use them not just to document um, so that we can share that experience but also for safety purposes um, so that what's happened and the truth of what's happened can um, be seen and we can decide from there. And I think it's really important that we keep those communications open, as open as possible. So I'm going to keep tweeting and photographing and sharing everything that happens here.